Sport utility vehicles, or SUVs, have continued to maintain their popularity all these years, even now with gas prices going up and up, and then coming down, and then going up again, because of their size, their versatility, and their drivability. One of the most popular mid-size luxury SUVs all this time has been the Volvo XC90. It's Volvo's flagship vehicle, and for good reason. That's why today we're gonna to be taking a close look at the new 2023 Volvo XC90. So I'm glad you could join us here at Fairfax Volvo, and I hope you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. First, I think it's interesting to note that the Volvo XC90 had previously been built in Gothenburg, Sweden for the North American market and most of the rest of the world. But now, as I understand it, starting in 2022, they're gonna be producing the Volvo XC90 for the US market at their Volvo factory in Ridgeville, South Carolina. Go Ridgeville. For the 2023 model year, Volvo gives you a nice selection of XC90s to choose from depending on your driving needs and budget ranges. And the names have changed this year. So, to keep things simple, Let's take it a step at a time. First, there's the B5, and then comes the B6, and that comes with either a six passenger or seven passenger configuration. Then there's the T8 plug-in hybrid model, again, coming in either a six or seven passenger configuration. Now, the B5 comes with a direct injected 2.0 liter, four cylinder turbocharged engine generating 247 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque, and it can tow up to 4,000 pounds properly equipped. The B6 comes with a direct injected, supercharged and turbocharged 2.0 liter four cylinder engine generating 295 horsepower, 310 pound feet of torque, and can tow up to 5,000 pounds properly equipped. Plus, both engines come with a 48 volt starter generator system to help improve the acceleration as well as the fuel efficiency by just a little bit. And since we're on the topic of fuel efficiency, the B5 gets approximately, now this is the B5, not the six, you follow me? The B5 gets approximately 22 miles per gallon city, 28 highway for combined 25. The B6 gets approximately 20 around the city, 26 on the highway for a combined of 22. Now, the T8 recharge plug-in hybrid comes with basically the same engine as the B6, but it's coupled with an electric motor that combined generates 455 horsepower, bam, 523 pound-feet of torque, and it can also tow up to 5,000 pounds. That T8 rocks. Now, the T8 gets the equivalent of approximately 26 miles per gallon around town, 25 on a highway for a combined 27 miles per gallon gas only. But when you add the electric motor to the equation, you get the equivalent of 66 miles per gallon zzz, zzz, electric. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. And if that's not enough, when you put it in pure mode, then you can get around 35 miles electric only before the gas power kicks in. And that's impressive, especially on a vehicle this size. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention that all of the XC90s for 2023 now come standard with all wheel drive. And that's a huge plus this year. Now the XC90s all also come with an eight speed Geartronic automatic transmission, along with four independent drive modes where you can get an eco setting, comfort setting, dynamic setting, and off-road setting. And they even have a sport shift you can play with too, which is kind of nice. Let's talk pricing, shall we? I know you love money. I love money, we all love money. Well, let's talk money. The B5 starts out at 56,000 plus a $1,095 destination fee, at least here in the United States. The B6 bumps it up to 60,900 plus plus plus, which is basically $4,900 more than the B5. And the B6 six seater, as I understand it, starts out at 63,900 plus plus. The T8 comes in at 71,9 plus 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 and the T8 six-seater, 74.1. Plus, plus, plus. You knew it was coming. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you what. 
I'm, I, are you still with me so far? I know that's a lot of numbers, but trust me, it's time well spent, especially since there's more numbers coming at you. Because now we're gonna talk about the available trim levels. Are you ready? You can get the XC90 for 2023 in the core trim package this year, the plus trim package, or the ultimate trim package like we're looking at today. Now, if we use the B5 base model as an example, it starts out at 57,095 with the destination charge already included in the core trim package. If you wanna bump it up to the plus trim package, then you just add an additional $3,900. But to get to the ultimate trim package, I have to say that that way every time, too. I don't know what it is, ultimate then you need to pony up an additional <clears throat> $13,200. Mm, mm, mm. Well, <laughs> that is enough numbers for anyone to try to comprehend, especially in one sitting. And I'm glad you're sticking with us here because my brain's about to explode. So I believe now would be a good time for us to just take a quick break for a moment of zen. <sighs> okay, uh, we're back. On with the review. All right, well, I just told you the, ult the ultimate trim package will run you more than $13,200 above the core base price. So what do you get for all that extra cash? Well, you get all of the core and plus trim level features, as well as <clears throat> genuine, beautiful, wood decor interior. And it depends on the color of the vehicle, the color of the wood. You also get a genuine solid crystal gear selector knob by the Swedish glass artisans at Orifers. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Forgive me if I'm not. Now, you also get with the ultimate, the ultimate package, the tailored dashboard and door top panels, ventilated genuine Napa leather upholstery, there's also a graphical head-up display, which is awesome to keep your eyes down on the road and tell you where you're going. It's beautiful. I'll show it to you later. You also get the top-of-the-line Harman Kardon premium sound system with an air-ventilated subwoofer, 14 speakers, 600 watts of power. And you know I love my stereos. You also get with the ultimate package, power driver and passenger seat memory with power side bolsters and four-way lumbar support. You also have a power cushion extension for the driver, which is a nice touch. You get rear door sun curtains, plus the ultimate, ultimate comes with 21 inch, eight multi-spoke black diamond cut alloy rims, and they look really nice. Plus, there's also a variety of other available options that Volvo offers so that you can personalize your vehicle even more. Well, tell you what, let's take a quick look at the exterior of the XC90, shall we? The exterior as well as the interior of the XC90 clearly reflect that beautiful Scandinavian design language that Volvos are so well known for. I think that's one of the reasons Volvos tend to age so gracefully over the years of ownership. Now, what's nice, too, is in 2023, you have a choice of two different themes uh, that are available for the XC90. You have a bright theme and a dark theme. Guess which theme we have right now, huh? 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 It's the bright one. You got it. You're sharp. You're smart. That's why you just oh, love you guys. Anyway, bright theme, because you have bright accents around the vehicle, the side lower body sills. You also have it around the windows. You have the uh, brushed chrome uh, roof rails, things of that nature. So it really makes the XC90 sparkle. But you can also go to the other extreme and go to the dark theme, and thereby taking all of the bright accents and turning them dark with the dark black gloss. And you'll have the dark roof rails, the side mirrors will have a dark out treatment all the way around. So it really gives you a nice choice to personalize your vehicle with. Dark or light, you choose. Now the XC90 comes with a classic Volvo grille, which is in your face, no disgrace. Plus, you have the classic Thor LED daytime running lights, full LED headlights, as well as LED fog lights. 
Now, as far as suspension is concerned, you have independent suspension all the way around the vehicle, and you have an optional air suspension system too, which is really great because that'll enable you to lower the vehicle for easier access to the vehicle. Now, as far as rims are concerned, okay, in the base model, which is the core edition, or core trim level, you decide, uh, you get 19 inch rims. Then you step up to the plus trim level, and that is gonna be a 20 inch rim, and as I mentioned to you, the ultimate comes with 21 inch and they do look nice, don't they? Anyway, I want to tell you about the suspension system. Let's go to the back, shall we? As you come to the back of the Volvo XC90, you can notice the very classically designed Volvo rear taillights. I mean, they really stand out and they are speed sensitive. That is, if you're in an emergency stop, the harder you press on that brake pedal, the more intense the light becomes and it starts flashing until it lets the driver behind you know this is an emergency stop. Don't hit me. That's cool. Now, you do have your third high tail light right here integrated into the rear spoiler, which comes in handy. And you'll even notice right here the bright chrome accent I mentioned on the bright theme. Huh? huh. Check it out. Now, this is something I got to show you. It's a world's first. Nobody else on the planet has this particular feature. It is so cool. Check this out. You stand right here and you go, whoop, bam. Hands, all right. I know a lot of manufacturers have this feature, but I had to show it to you. You can also release it with your key fob, and there's also a grip in the back too. So you can just get into the rear cargo area. This is, this is a cool place though. You have no idea how cool it is. Now, let me tell you how cool this is. I mentioned earlier, you have an air suspension system. You have a little button back here. If I wanna lower the rear of the vehicle, I have easy access to the items in the back. A bam If I'm going, let's say, off-roading a little bit or what have you, I can then raise it up along the way, which is so cool. Now, that air suspension also adjusts the shock absorbers, so it's going to give you a different feel as you're driving down the road. But check this out. You now are going to see magic. Bam! Abracadabra. Ching! I got a trailering hitch. Just like that. Now. This will tow, as I said before, up to 5,000 pounds. But now I want to get rid of it. I don't need this anymore. Push the button. Cha-ching. Gone. I bet you'd buy this for that reason alone, wouldn't you? Huh? Huh, I bet you would. Anyway, there's more to this. You have storage back here. You got a little storage area on the side, another little cubby hole here. Underneath your all-weather mats, you open this up. You have an emergency spare tire, and you could maybe put I don't know, change back here, I don't know, nothing else. But when you really want to have some fun, you drop the seats. And as you drop the seats, the headrests drop. And I've got 15.8 cubic feet of cargo space back here, just on its own. I push this, 41.8 cubic feet of cargo space. And then I drop the next row down, I've got 85.7 cubic feet of cargo space. That's a lot of cargo space. So there's plenty of room for cargo as well as passengers. And uh, while we're on the topic of passengers, let's talk about keeping those passengers safe because that's one of the things Volvo is pretty well known for and why people buy Volvo after Volvo after Volvo. Volvo city safety technology comes standard on all the Volvos and that includes rear view camera, front and rear parking sensors, you have blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, forward collision warning with pedestrian and cyclist detection, forward collision mitigation and automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning and lane keep assist, road sign recognition, adaptive headlights with automatic high beam, rear cross traffic alert, rear automatic braking when in reverse, and so much more. And that really gives you the peace of mind and knowing you're taking care of your family and those people around you on the road. The interior cockpit design really wraps around you. And with the uh, base core model, you get leatherette seating. And with the Plus, you get the leather seating, but with the Ultimate, like we're in now, you get the genuine Napa leather, and it's ventilated as well as heated. All of those are in the controls you can you know, manage right here on your nine-inch screen. Plus, you even have a massaging feature available. 
and there's, as I mentioned earlier, that little cushion that sits out, you've got lower lumbar, all that stuff. So you are just, just comfortable, and it's not just you. You have your memory seatings over here, the passenger has their memory seatings as well. Now, we're gonna show you the tight turning radius here, because it's nice to be able to maneuver a large SUV like this in tight spots. And this does a very nice job. And that independent suspension with the um, air suspension system we have right now, it really gives us a comfortable ride. But I'm gonna show you something right here while we're just sitting here for a second. Uh, first of all, you've got your nine inch screen and this is Google uh, apt. I mean, it is set up to handle Google for everything. I, I've got Google Store, I've got Google Assistance, Google Maps, I got everything. Watch. Hey Google, what's the temperature outside? In Herndon, it's currently 65 degrees. But bam, 65 degrees, beautiful day today. Anyway, you have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto capability for both, and you do have uh, obviously navigation here, which is set up as you can see, and of course that's actually uh, put on your 12.3 inch uh, digital uh, display right here for the driver. Now if I want to adjust the temperature in the vehicle I obviously can tap the center and now I have my controls for everything in between it just fingertip controls. If I want to look around me my backup camera I've got a 360 view as well punch the 360 and you can see all around it and it's crystal clear too so that works well and as I mentioned you have heated seats ventilated seats in the limited you also have as I said massaging seats available and it's all here you have your owner's manual you have your car stats and if you go to your uh, settings you have your drive modes your sound settings connectivity controls applications profiles google everything and system control so it's really an intuitive system that's very clear and nicely responsive so there you go i like it and i do like the digital display for the driver i, I like the controls and of course you have your fingertip controls for your bluetooth connectivity and uh, hands-free uh, commands all of that good stuff here and my head-up display here comes in really handy especially when you have navigation uh, controls and instructions you can just keep your eyes dead on the road instead of staring at a camera like I'm doing right now staring staring the Volvo moves and grooves Now you're going to hear a little bit of road noise because it is an all-wheel drive system and a little bit uh, larger uh, rims and tires on this vehicle, but it's not a lot of outside noise along the way. Now one of the nice things about the all-wheel drive system in the Volvo is that when you're at a standstill, you start off in all-wheel drive and then as you start to pick up speed and you're on a you know regular road surface, it'll shift the power to the front wheels. So in essence, it's a miniature front wheel drive vehicle, but as soon as it senses it lost the traction, it'll move up to 50% of the traction to the rear wheels, which gives you a tremendous amount of security all year long, any kind of weather. The B5 engine, the four cylinder turbo does a decent job, but I like the B6 with the supercharger as well as the turbocharger, because it gives you that extra punch and performance and power that comes in handy, especially when you're driving on these high-speed highways these days. Now, we're gonna try the acceleration. Yes, this thing moves. It's the supercharger coupled with the turbocharger that really, really handles the RPM so nicely because at the lower RPMs, you're gonna kick in the supercharger at higher RPMs, the turbocharger balances it out. So you've got a nice power range throughout the entire uh, shift system. Now, the shifter here with the eight-speed Geartronic transmission with the crystal, it's really nice. But I do have a recommendation. Because it is crystal, I would always keep a little microfiber cloth just to polish it up before your friends get in your car. That's all, but that's just me. As far as connectivity is concerned, you do have a 12 volt USB connector here in the front, plus you also have two C USB 
connectors in the center console, and there's two more in the back for the mid row. And there's a 12 volt all the way in the rear, in case you want to put in a, another supply with an adapter back there for little Bobo and Bobette. And that's a good thing. All right, if you're going to get in that back third row, you better either be a child or a moderately sized adult because it is tight back there. It's not hard necessarily to get into it. You just have to take the middle row seat and, and pull it forward, slide it out of the way, and then pop it back in. But it is cozy to say the least. Now there's a couple cup holders, some storage units, you know, bins on the side, down the center, uh, air conditioning, woohoo, but not much else. Now the middle rows, that's where an adult can sit, and that's a good thing. They're much more comfortable. You can fit three people there easily, and they have some nice conveniences, as most vehicles do, especially luxury vehicles, such as the side shades that pop up, give you that little bit of privacy or you also have your fold down center armrest and that's always a nice touch with two, mind you, two cup holders. Woohoo! This is exciting, isn't it? Cup holders, yeah, thanks Volvo. And you also have storage uh, nets and a beautiful, as you can see, panoramic moonroof, which is stunning to say the least. And it does have a power shade with it as well. So that'll give you the, uh, the benefit of the, the light as well as the comfort of not being, you know, broiled by the sun. But the front seats, that's where the luxury lives. As I mentioned earlier, you have this beautiful wood surrounding you throughout the cabin. And the leather on this Ultimate on the top is absolutely a, a fine touch. As far as stereos are concerned, in the base core trim level as well as the plus you're going to have 10 speakers 220 watts of power the ultimate like we're driving comes standard with the Harman Kardon system 14 speakers 600 watts you get it but we have the optional Bowers and Wilkins stereo system 19 speakers 1460 watts of power for a mere 3200 bucks and that's what I would take if I were you you do have storage areas, storage bins. You do have this beautiful, again, wood accented sliding tray right here, which covers your cup holders. And uh, again, nicely leathered and boom, can't beat that. Oh, you do have another little storage area down here. <laughs> ah, yes, Bobo, thank you very, very much. Sport utility vehicles, as I mentioned earlier, have been as popular as ever before, and I think that's what makes the Volvo XC90 such uh, a, a tried and true performer out there in the SUV world. People appreciate it for so many reasons, whether it's its Scandinavian beauty and luxury, or the Volvo safety and technology, and simple comfort and drivability. So. If you really want to appreciate the Volvo, you need to check it out for yourself. It might just be the right mid-size luxury SUV for you.